My poster is kind of like my bad signal to be like, hey, I see you, you're here, this is all yours. The Unapologetically Brown series was a way to combat the whiteness of the streets, was to combat the lack of representation on the streets. Sometimes that may be through a photo on a poster, highlighting black or brown artists or poet that wouldn't normally be celebrated. You know, coming from another country, I immigrated as a young child, not knowing the language here, feeling very displaced. I wanted to feel a sense of community somewhere. I always wanted to feel like I belonged somewhere, and I didn't necessarily feel that way at all. So in creating this, um, it's, it's my way of, of putting in something I felt like we didn't, I didn't have. So I just want to create space for other people. Once people started asking me, you know, how can I bring this to my city? How can I do this? You know, it just occurred to me, well, hello, you know, make them accessible. Other people can go do them. So I put them on Google Drive. And that's when I really realized people want to see this in the streets. People want to feel acknowledged. I packed my bag full of posters, blue. I'll be out on the street for hours. The streets are the biggest platform that you can have. I wanted the work to translate outside of social media very specifically, first of all. I wanted to reach more than that because not everybody can be online. Not everybody has Instagram. Not everybody has accessibility to that. I'm trying to reach people in the community and some of those people are not gonna have access to online. So I want the posters to live outside in, you know, in the wild because then they can tell a whole story that I don't have to be there for. You know? Building this isn't just like for myself, this is for my community. I want people to feel acknowledged. I want them to feel empowered. I want everything they said we couldn't have.